oil and fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six months. Okay, it's time to start a new painting. So I've drawn out the basics of it and I prepared my water mixed with the color that I want, which is a nice blue. Okay, and I'm just gonna wash down my wash down my painting. Wash it down. Wash it down. We're gonna wash down my painting with a nice, strong, lots of water, water, and um, a mixture of blue. Okay, just to keep the get a base color. Okay. Now we're gonna let that dry for a minute, and we'll come back to it. Just make sure you get all the edges, and make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm adding a little silver just to give it a little bit like a silvery blue now and mixing it together to give my painting a little bit more something something. So now I'm going to start here. This is the second coat by the way. Now, I kind of want some white in there. Let's see if I can find my white. So add a little bit of different color. There we go, there's my white. Okay, I'm just gonna add white accents to different spots. So, let's see. And adding different white accents to different spots. This makes it a little bit more interesting. Okay, and we can still see my outline here of what I'm going to paint. So right here, 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 here is where I'm going to paint. And then there's like little things here. Okay, and then a bunch of little rocks there, so. So I'm just like, there we go, and then there's like an outline here. So I still see the outline and the basis of what I'm gonna paint over, so I'm just layering it. Okay, so I'm using a variety of different brushes here and different colors, and I'm just gonna fill in all my rocks. Okay, these, all these ones. So some of my rocks are larger, so I'm just using like a larger brush, the larger ones. So it's like different. So my rocks are like colorful, very colorful. That's the edge of that rock. And I'm probably gonna use a different color for that one afterwards. So then I'm gonna use the green. A different color of green. Okay, now I'm gonna try. This is gonna be like a really vibrant painting. So it's like, we're using like a really bright orange for this one. And I'm gonna mix in a bit of yellow. Okay, so those are those two colors. Now I'm feeling some different colors. Maybe some, we used the orange already. I'm feeling like a different kind of yellow. For the small, so I'm gonna 
do this kind of yellow. And then I use the different, the brighter yellow for this. And then for here, I'm gonna just do all these rocks yellow. Like a brighter yellow. Okay. And just making sure that Sorry, there we go. Okay, filling in all my rocks. I might switch some, I might start doing some browns, yellows and browns. So just filling in. Yes, so I'm still using the yellows here and using the different yellows mixtures and I'm just using this one. there we go okay so it's coming along so now I'm gonna use, keep on going with my yellows. This yellow and there we go. And then make sure this yellow. Okay. There we go. Now there's still a few. This is going to be a, just a bunch of different colored rocks. So I will still have some yellow. So I'm just going to paint the odd ones yellow. As you can see, there is enough yellow ones now. Maybe about four more. I'm gonna do four more. Two, three. And I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush soon. This brush is getting okay. So now I'm switching to a smaller brush, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go with some oranges again. So let's go some oranges. I'm like bright oranges. Okay, as you can see, the orange is coming out. I'm feeling um, like more of a bright blue again or a green, maybe like green here. Like a darker green, I should say. There we go, I'll put some darker green for, because See how these rocks are balancing each other up. That's the image that I created from. I went to the beach and I saw rocks and I had rock sculptures and I just was so inspired by rocks. So these are actually rocks that I'm working with. And 
I'll show you my rocks that I'm interested in, what I do. I have my rock sculptures here and my little baby rock sculptures. And that's what's inspired me to do rocks. And just, it kind of helps me to uh, meditate um, doing rocks. So yeah, like I really love rocks. Just going rocks and shells and things like that. Things of nature that you can collect. They give off some kind of energy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna keep on going. I actually decided some red. The red is so vibrant. So I'm just gonna go with the red. There you go. I might add some brown in soon. Okay, so you have to be careful with your brush. Sometimes your brush decides to go its own way. You wanna have like, make sure that they're smooth brushes. Okay, so then the next color I'm thinking, I might throw in my beiges now just to like tone it down. So I'm going to use some beige, so some gold, and also some brown, just to get some more like earth tones in there. So here we go. Now I'm going to stick these paint brushes to soak in there. And in the meantime, I'll start painting with my gold. Okay, so I'm painting for the purpose of design right now. So, you know, when you're painting for design, um, you wanna go with like an interesting kind of pattern or something that would be interesting, you know, onto felts or like designing for furniture or what, things like that. So things that might look interesting if once you put it onto a different product like um, products like furniture and pillows and things like that. So that's why I'm painting for products right now. The things that will look interesting. Sometimes I paint for portraits or and other times I paint horses. And um, not that horses aren't interesting for products but um, just sometimes you wanna have like textile, I guess, textile stuff. Okay, so it's coming along and you just wanna, it takes a lot of patience and it actually is quite meditative painting. And the end product is what you're going for. So. Right now it might just look like, oh, what is this? Not sure. But the end, when you put it all together, that's why you just gotta keep on going. Because when you ha have the finished product, that's when it gets interesting. It comes together. And you just never know what's gonna look better than the other. So you just keep going and you don't, you complete all your projects and Sometimes you can even look back and make adjustments to your art. You're like, hey, like it might come to you out of nowhere. Hey, this needs that, or this needs this. And 
that's the great thing about it is you can always come back to it so and make it better but you also have to know when to stop too because you can overdo your painting you can overdo it too so you want to overdo a painting okay so we're coming along it's almost like almost there thinking like maybe it needs something else it's getting quite like the browns are coming in i kind of feel like this rock has something like like a texture to it like um another you know like another shade of the rock there you go There we go. So, putting this in, and that one here. And they're larger rocks. This one kind of needs a little bit more intensity. All right, it's almost, are we almost finished painting all the rocks? Almost. There's just a few more. There's a few pebbles. Okay. So, now we've almost finished. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, there's a few here. Okay. I don't know what that is on my canvas, but I'll take that off. There we go. Okay. Now later we'll come back and do so, do our accents, our highlights and lowlights. We'll add some thing, and we'll come back in a little while after that's dried. Okay, so I went ahead and I added my last rock in here. So I just did it with um, with brown, white, and a bit of silver. Okay. So I just. Did you hear I'm just like touching, making the last touches for it? Okay, and then up here, there is some land. So, get some white here. There we go. Okay, so some land here. And. There we go. Um, it just kind of comes out here. It's like a scenery thing. And um, here are some trees. So just tree trunks. So here are the trees. Might make a few more. There we go, and now we'll do the branches for them. We've got a different kind of colors. We're going to use like a green. Um, green. Some brighter green. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to get some smaller brushes all our brushes here and do some green okay and I'm gonna add some brighter green to it Overlap this one. Okay. This one overlapping. This one. Okay, and some silver. 
Okay, and some other ones. Now, we're going to take the tape off there so that one will be lost, but that's fine. It's just, okay. So now, let's take a look at the whole thing. So far, so good. Let me add this here, a little bit thicker. It's kind of like a, there we go. I might add something to the trees too, because I just want a few more trees here. Like so. Okay, and I might like smooth out the black, the blue background later. So there you have it. Okay, so now I'm taking brown and a bit of gold and I mixed it in with a bit of water. And it looks like there's some pink in there, but there's not, that's just old, uh, that's stuck to the pan. Okay, and now I'm gonna just do like a brown wash. Just washing over to fill in the spaces. A brown wash, brownish gold wash. Just like washing, but only, I'm only doing the areas where it has the rocks. Okay, like a brown wash over top of the already dried paint so that it doesn't, it's not going to run. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and add some accents with black. Okay, I'm gonna add some black into I'm gonna accent things. I'm sure that's watery in it. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now we're just going to edge out this area here. I was started with black, but I'm gonna, I'm just going to cover that up. I didn't like that. So it was a little too intense with the black. So I'm just edging it out here and maybe some here. There we go. So that we can know that that's like the um land and i might just there we go just the intensity uh i might add a little tiny bit of black there we go so we know where the edge of the land is and right here too okay there we go it's coming along Okay, so now I just want to take a little bit of blue and just fix the parts of the sky that I'm not too into, like this part here. 
smooth it out. Okay. And then this part here, it has like a really cool shimmer effect because I added silver to it. It's really turning out really cool. Okay. There we go. So I'm just going to smooth that out here. And I'm going to add some accents to it later. All right. That's coming along. There we go. There we go. And keep in mind, your art is your art and it's nobody else's. So it doesn't matter. You just do your thing and don't take judgments. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.